Let's be completely real. If it weren't for the fact that I am vlogging today, I would not be putting any makeup on. I swear, this is like one of those looks that I think looks adorable on everyone else. And then anytime I try to do it, I'm like, you look so stupid. Happy Thursday. Happy February. It is February 1st, which means I'm getting the keys to my new apartment and we are finally kicking off the moving vlogs. I just cannot take myself seriously with this headband. Please hold. Okay, this is so much better. So yeah, I am getting the keys to the new apartment. My car is completely packed full. I still have another month in this old place, so there's no need to rush the moving process so i really want to just like unpack things as i go so that way it's a little bit less overwhelming and i don't have everything packed up because i mean i'm still going to be living here for at least the next like week or two but i started packing stuff that i don't use on like a regular basis I'm bringing a bunch of cleaning stuff with me we're going to do a nice deep clean and then i'm going to just unload everything from my car i might come back and do a second car load of boxes depending you know, depending on timing and like how tired I am and all that. So I don't know. We will see, but that is the plan. So let's go get the keys. Okay, so this is the front door when you walk in. And then over here, we have a nice size broom closet, coat closet. Then over here, we have a pantry which I'm so excited for because I don't currently have this. I have very, very limited kitchen space in my current place. So that's gonna be so nice. Then there's a built-in desk over here, which I'm planning on turning into a coffee station. So I'm gonna have like my coffee machines on here. And then I got these really cute wooden floating shelves that I'm gonna mount on the wall here. And then this is the kitchen. Uh, look at this kitchen how spacious especially compared to the kitchen i currently have like i'm obsessed so much more counter space and the amount of drawers and cabinets oh and i have a garbage disposal yes i thought so but i wasn't sure a garbage disposal is one of those things that like if you've never had one you're like oh i don't really need that but once you've had one once in your life it's so nice to have that then you miss it when you don't have one so that's amazing and i love how deep the sink is then over here is like the dining living room area i'm gonna put a dining table here and maybe like a buffet cabinet kind of thing over there and then my couch over here and then the dresser with my tv on this wall i'm thinking like my bar cart and chair over here but you'll see you'll see when it all comes together but then there is a balcony and look at this view like are you kidding and right over there is one of the dog parks so that's gonna be super convenient for Benny. The balcony in my current place literally faces another building. So my neighbors can literally just see me. And like, even if they're just walking below, if they look up, they can see me. But here, because it's like closed off, it's super private and it's so quiet. So like, I can't see any of my neighbors, they can't see me. And then there is a closet out here which I have at my current place too. And I love having this because especially living by the beach, all like the sandy beach chairs and stuff like that. This is nice to have and good storage for like Christmas decor, Christmas tree, you know, like that kind of stuff. Okay, so then down here, this is the guest bedroom. So pretty good size. I'm not 100% sure what I wanna do in this room. It would be nice to kind of set up like an office, but I don't have specific plans. And this room, I'm definitely gonna leave last. Like I'm not too worried about decorating this super cute right away. So this is just gonna kind of be like the extra empty room for a little while. And then I, I can like put my air mattress in here when I have company. So 
but I love having this extra closet too. So nice. Okay, then out here, this is a linen closet, which I'm very excited for, because again, I don't have one of these in my current place. So tons of extra storage. Over here, this is just like the hot water heater, but it connects to where the washer dryer is. And actually, like the space there is pretty good. So if I need to keep anything else, I can put something back there. And here is the washer dryer closet. Then this is the guest bathroom. Like, how spacious, I love. This is the bathroom I'm saying is gonna definitely be like the getting ready bathroom. Like I can picture when all my friends come over, like doing our makeup and getting ready before we go out. Very spacious, tons of storage which is so nice, more above the toilet too. I love that all the bathrooms have windows too. Nice big soaking tub. I cannot wait to take a bath in here. And like even just the finishes, like the shower head, it just looks so much nicer, you know? And then this is the master bedroom. It's not that big in here. Like it's probably about the same size as my current bedroom but the closet is definitely bigger like so much deeper and then the master bathroom again tons of storage window which i love and this shower oh my god with the glass doors so nice I was kind of thinking about painting this bathroom black to make it like really vibey. I feel like I would love that, but I'm not gonna worry about that for now. That'll be a project for a, a different day. I can't believe this is it. This is my apartment. And I just love the view outside. I'm gonna start unloading the car. I'm gonna just bring all my cleaning stuff up first. Pro tip, do not forget toilet paper and hand soap and make sure that you put that in a place that's like easily accessible where you can easily find it. I think I'm gonna start in the kitchen. I'm gonna put on a podcast or something and time lapse. Also, I'm so glad I wore layers because I am already sweating. <laughs> Cleaned the sink, but I want to vacuum now. I'm very excited because I am finally using my new vacuum. This is the Dirt Devil Multi Surface Total Pet Plus. It's a really strong vacuum and it's ideal for pet parents. And Dirt Devil is sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Thank you so much to them. So you have all these extra attachments. It comes packaged so nicely. Then we have the handle. And now I have another box that I can use to pack more stuff. Dirt Devil gets you an incredible clean at an affordable price. And with the Dirt Devil Multi-Surface Total Pet Plus, you can get a high performance clean on both hard floors and carpets, which is perfect for me now in this new apartment because I have both. You can pick up large debris, fine particles, and deeply embedded dirt. The vacuum also has a pet tool kit that's designed to help easily remove pet hair with versatile tools and extra cleaning reach. It also has a four level height adjustment to clean on varying floor types. And I used this vacuum to clean the entire apartment and I was really impressed with it. It was so lightweight and easy to move around 
but really powerful. So if you guys want to get this vacuum for yourself, it's currently available at Walmart. I will have a link in the description where you can go purchase it. And thank you so much again to Dirt Devil for sponsoring this portion of the video. Okay, I just mopped the floors and the baseboards and everything out here. And I left the door cracked to help it dry. I probably should put the ceiling fan on too, actually. Let me do that. So while I wait for this to dry, I am going to use this. And the washing machine looks okay. Like it's not super filthy and it doesn't like have a weird smell or anything, but I mean, I can see like, you know, detergent residue and stuff. Pour into the washer drum. Don't add any detergent, obviously. Run a normal cycle using hot water. Ew. What the hell? Yeah, okay, that looks gross. Like in there, what the hell? Yeah, that's nasty, okay, well. I'm glad I got these things. At first I was like, is that a little extra? I've never cleaned a washing machine before using it. Um, Cause I don't know, it just didn't seem necessary, but yeah, this seems necessary to me. And it's kind of nice to like use the appliances too, like test them out before I actually am using it for real and like living here. Cause that way if there are any issues, I can let them know and get it fixed before like I'm actually fully moved in. Okay, that's doing its thing. The floor looks like it's drying pretty quickly, so that's good. Okay, floor is dry, at least over here. So I'm gonna unroll this rug. Oh, it's cute. I am loving it so far, and it's really soft. So here is the new rug. I love it because it adds some color, but it's all muted, and I think it's going to look so nice with the rest of my furniture and decor. you know, the general shape when they're put together. But they look so cute and so high quality and comfy and I'm so excited. So they are from the company Ernest and they did gift me these chairs, which I am so, so grateful for. So thank you so much to them. But uh, it looks like it's gonna be pretty easy to assemble. I mean, how hard can chairs be to put together? And it looks like you just you need an Allen key for everything, so we love that. And if there are only four steps, that's it. that I got would be comfortable enough that I could sit in them for hours and hours as I'm editing. And then obviously like, when I have people over, I want to make sure that the chairs I have are comfortable. But this is super comfy and I absolutely love 
the fabric. They are very, very easy to put together. Honestly, I think the most time consuming part is probably unwrapping them, which is a good thing. Like everything came packaged so nicely. I'm also starting to get hungry. It is 12.30. I think I'll just get food delivered. That way I don't have to leave and I will finish unloading the small stuff in the car. I feel like I can't just like do one task at a time. I get so bored and then I need to like, I need to move on to something else and then come back to it. No freaking way. Amazing. I just went to go get the rest of the stuff from the car. As you can tell from the sound of my breathing. And my table was here. Thank God they dropped it off in front of the door here because this thing is freaking heavy. So if it ends up not working in this space or I don't like it, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Returning it is going to be a huge pain in the ass. But that is kind of nice because when my food comes, I can sit at the table on my new chair. Oh, I think this is gonna be so pretty. I want to conserve because this, this is my last battery that I brought and I didn't bring the charger. I don't know why I didn't think to. So I'm going to conserve the battery, but I'll show you the table when it's done. Hopefully this doesn't take me too long to put together. I need to figure out where my, where would be a good spot to put the camera now in this place. But I finished eating. Oh, did I show you the table yet? I don't even, I, I don't even remember. Here is the table. It's kind of blending into the floor a little bit. It's from Bed Bath & Beyond. And the chair was very comfortable. I am loving this chair. Again, they're from Ernest. I will have a link in the description. And they gave me a discount code that you guys can use as well. They have a bunch of furniture and decor on their website. Definitely go take a look. But these chairs, I'm obsessed. And I think they go well with the table. They were like the perfect height, like everything. Everything feels good. The table was really easy to put together though, all with an Allen wrench. So the tips of my fingers feel raw. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from the furniture assembling and open some of the new stuff that I got. My friend Haley is also going to come by. Her mom lives in this same apartment complex. She's coming to let her mom's dog out. So she said she's gonna stop by for a little bit while she's here. Depending on what I decide to do later, she might come back and help me with some stuff. But it's a little after two o'clock now. And I feel like now that I ate, I'm kind of getting like a second wind. So I might go back to the old place and bring some stuff over. And part of me, like now that I'm in here, I'm so excited. Like part of me is kind of tempted to grab the air mattress and pack an overnight bag and spend the night here. That way in the morning, I'll already be here and I can just get up first thing and unpack some more. I don't know, we'll see. But I have been dying to open up this Timu box because they let me pick a bunch of stuff from their website. I feel very blessed that I got gifted a lot of things for this move. I honestly don't even remember what I got. Oh, first thing is this braided keychain. I don't have like a cute keychain on my keys right now. It's just like a cluster of stuff. And I thought this would not only be cute, but it would be easier for me to find them in my purse. Oh, this is a fabric bin to store like bed linens. These are drawer organizers. I'm like, what is this mesh? I mean, I guess you could use this for like a bunch of different things, but I was thinking for like sock and underwear drawer. Oh, then I got some more white socks, which is perfect because the ones I was wearing earlier got all wet as I was mopping. Oh, this is to stick at the bottom in the shower so it catches your hair, which will be very useful because I feel like I'm constantly having to snake the drain in my shower. Oh, this is a jar opener. So like, you know, when you get a jar and you just can't get it open, this like clamps around the lid so then you can easily untwist it. I wish these things said on the bag what they are because I really don't remember. This is so bad. 
I think this is a drawer organizer and you can, yes, I remember now. So you can cut it to whatever length you need. If you press it down, it's just like a manual whisk. Oh, this is some Velcro to keep your cords together. Got some sponges because I mean, self-explanatory. Ooh, I'm excited about these. I forgot I got these. Got some more pillow slides. Pretty nudie color. Ooh, I'm about to wear these right now. Oh, oh my god, I love the table. Wait, it's the cute, shop. right? Yeah. Oh my god, you got the last one! Okay, back to <laughs> the Timu stuff. Um, oh, got some new silky or satin, technically, pillowcases. I got some of these little organizers. I don't know where I'm gonna put these yet, but I was thinking these could work either in the pantries or in the bathroom. Ooh, my blue light glasses. Oh, I'm so excited. Cute. Obviously, like, I'm staring at my computer screen for hours at a time when I'm editing. So I got these also, to be honest, I used to wear glasses back in the day, well, contacts, and like occasionally I would wear glasses, but I got LASIK a few years ago. So glad I did it, but like sometimes I miss glasses because like they can be really cute and sometimes they, you know, just compliment your outfit. So I thought these would be cute to just wear to work. Oh, I'm excited about this. So it's a little stand with these glass jars for um, what's the word? I feel brain dead right now. What is the word? When you take a leaf off a plant and you stick it in water so it can grow roots. Puh, 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 puh. Ooh, then I got some boob tape. Very useful. Oh, these are for the fridge. The two of them came together, but to put your drinks, like, can, soda cans or something. I was, I'm gonna put my Celsius and my Olipop in these. Then I got this set of mixing bowls, stainless steel, five different ones, different sizes. Oh, this, I'm gonna wait to open this, but this goes in the shower, like a little rack that you stick on the side to hold, you know, your shampoo and whatnot. Oh, then I got this black satin robe. And then the last thing I got is this backpack. And this is good for, it's like padded in the back, so it's good for carrying your laptop. Oh, and you can plug it in. Wait, I didn't even realize that. That is so cool. It has a bunch of different compartments. Let's unbox some more stuff. I got a set of three of these mason jars with airtight lids. My plan for these is to have them at the coffee bar and put coffee in them. So I'll have one for regular coffee, one for decaf, and one for espresso maybe. Oh, these are the shelves for the coffee bar. These are my glasses i showed these already in a previous vlog but i got this set of ribbed cups then these are baby hangers for my bottoms because i've been seeing all over online all these professional closet organizers have been talking about getting these little hangers because your pants just fit on them better. There's not all this extra room for them to slide around and then it just fits in the closet better and it just looks cleaner too. I was thinking I could also possibly hang like crop tops, bralette type 
tops on these. This is to hang up my keys. So I'm thinking right here by the front door where you walk in, I have this small mirror from my old apartment. So I was gonna hang that here and then have these hooks underneath it. That way I can hang up my keys right here by the front door. And I think that'll be cute. And then having that mirror there, I think will be nice just so I can like, you know, do one final glance before I head out the door. And then this is my frother. I got this for the closet in the master bedroom because that one wall, I'll show you. This wall over here is just blank, obviously, but it's a little bit too narrow, I think. Like if I, I think I am gonna put a small dresser in here of some sort, but I think it'll make more sense to put it back there because if I put it along this wall, then it'll be way too narrow. So I got these hooks to mount on the wall here that way i can hang like purses belts scarves hats stuff like that so i will leave that in here for now and then i got this organizer to hang that's what it looks like to hang up my like broom mop and whatnot so i'm gonna mount that in the broom closet over here i think that's everything that i brought over here and then you are on top of my new air fryer this was a christmas gift from my mom because my old one i had dropped the basket and now it just doesn't work right and i had been wanting a larger one anyway okay i organized everything, put some stuff away, sort of, like just kind of organized things into piles and put stuff like in the appropriate room. I'll show you the status of where I'm at with everything, but right now I'm so tired. So I am gonna head back to my old place and I'm just gonna rest for a little bit and take my dog out pack up a little bit more. My friend Haley, she's like all excited and gun ho about it. And I'm, I'm trying to like go kind of slow, do it all in stages. And she's like, let's get this shit done. So she said that she will come over to my old apartment to help me load up some more boxes and hang out here with me later tonight and help me like put together because I just, all I have to do is just finish those chairs and then do the two nightstands. And she said her mom will probably come over too and help me with some stuff, which is so greatly appreciated. Because normally, anytime I've moved in the past, I've had my family help me. I've had boyfriends in the past that have been able to help. But this is my first time doing it like completely by myself. And it's a lot. So I appreciate all the help that I can get so I guess I am gonna go back and do round two tonight but I need to like rest a little bit in between because I am so tired but I am gonna put out these reed diffusers I love these I have these currently at the old place but they're almost finished I've had them out for like probably about a year um, they last a really long time and they smell so good like they are strong they really throw a good scent so it's the eco candle company and all their stuff is really good too because it's not they don't use like toxic ingredients my boss actually sells these products at the salon and that's how I discovered these and the beach house scent is so good it's my favorite so I feel like I need to Put these out so that way it can start smelling like me and smelling like my home in here so I got two of these and they're just cute like I love reed diffusers even for decor so just for now I'll put one in the guest bathroom and I put the other one out in the kitchen just so it'll get the apartment smelling more like me um, but here is where 
I'm at so far. These are boxes that are still in good condition that I am going to bring back with me so that I can pack more stuff in these. I put all of like my tools and whatnot over here. Oh, I need to throw this out. I'm gonna just leave the chairs over there for now because I will be back and I'm gonna finish putting those together later. This I am gonna take to recycle. There's the nightstands. I'll put those together later. This is garbage now. The stuff over here I'm going to wash slash I'm waiting to set up. And then I have all the cleaning stuff over here in this corner. This was some little like organizational, like little baskets and decorative stuff. So I'm just leaving that there for now because I'll figure out what I'm gonna do with all of that once I actually start, you know, decorating and organizing. The stuff that's gonna go in this bathroom is in here. I hung up those baby hangers. So anything that's gonna eventually be put away in here, I just put in here. And same in the bathroom. So yeah, a good start. I didn't actually like put things away yet or start organizing, but at least I kind of like took everything out of its box and separated it based on room. So, oh my God, I'm so tired. I'm gonna head home. Well, I guess this is my home now too. Weird. I'm gonna head back to the old apartment. And like I said, I'm just gonna relax for a little bit, maybe make another coffee or like grab a Celsius or something and pack some more. And I'll be back later tonight. I think I am going to spend the night here. So I'm gonna grab my air mattress and sheets and like all that kind of stuff. So I'll be over there packing things up for a while. I'm going to end this vlog here because I feel like it's long enough and I will continue vlogging the rest of this process. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description for everything. Link to the Dirt Devil vacuum, link and discount code to those dining chairs. I'll put the link to the dining table as well. And anything else that I mentioned, like the re-diffusers, I'll put a link to that. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.